Coin Reefers, and I'm Daniel, and this is your second video of the day. If you are a subscriber, I just wanted to share some information with you guys on an awesome, awesome product, and this is a Seachem Reef Reactor Large Coarse Media, and there's something very special I'm going to use this for. It's normally for calcium reactors, um, and it's great because it's balanced, and it's a great media to use, but I'm using it for something else. In our mushroom tank, I am going to use these for the mushrooms to latch on. So different sands, aragonites are great, but if I use too big a piece or too small a piece, they are hard to sell or they blow around the tank. So these are the large coarse pieces. I am gonna rinse these. They are aragonite and I am gonna uh, put those in the bottom. So let me show you what they're good for and you'll, you'll, you'll like it. It's a good little tip. So over here we have all these mushrooms, right? And the problem with these mushrooms is a lot of the vendors, they come in and they're not attached to rocks because if it's attached to a big rock, they're impossible to remove and you have to sell the whole rock and then you have to ship it with lots of water and it just, it's a lot. So what we want to do is have little frags for you guys because they're easy to glue in your tank and it's easier to remove later on and transport and all that other stuff. So I have cups in here, but then trying to get flow in there and the fish are picking out the food and it's dropping in there. It, the cups aren't a great idea. So I wanted to 3D print something special that would get some flow in there, but I just haven't had time. So what I'm gonna do, the next best thing, is I'm gonna take that aragonite, that media, the large, and I'm gonna spread it throughout the whole tank. And then the nice thing about that is I can just sprinkle the mushrooms in there and they should attach onto it. So that should really, really help out. And that's just a great little tip. So. If you're fragging something on a rock, you guys can do what I did over here. You can actually cut the plates. You can see all those mushrooms. And that's really cool when you can do that. But when they're free and they're floating around, you want to attach them to something, you know, this isn't the right type of situation. So aragonite media works really, really well for those of you with mushroom tanks. Um, I like the coarser media for the frag tanks a lot uh, because I want to increase the flow, but in a shorter diameter the flow tends to pick up a lot of the sand. So stay tuned for that. There's always something to fix. There's always some little uh, hurdle to cross. Or, but my next thing is to 3D print the noise reducers for the overflow. I worked on them. I just have not had time to finish them. So hopefully in the next video, you won't hear all that noise. So that, wire, that water noise in the drain should be quieted down. But we have four um, Bashi sumps, extra large, running underneath. So, and they're open design. And it's actually not that bad. They, they sound really well. So check these out. Take a good look at this sump. My, my favorite, the black and orange sump over here. This thing is absolutely stunning. So, we are gonna add a protein skimmer, one of the Bashis, over to this Red Sea tank, um, just to balance out the sump. This is a new system that we set up and it is um, still cycling, but we will be moving stuff over and that'll become the softy LPS tank and this will become pretty much all the acros and the hard corals. So stay tuned for more updates on that. And as this tank gets cycled and we add more, it should start to look beautiful with all these stunning Ecotech radions underneath. So there you guys go. As always, thanks for watching. Happy reefing. Until the next one.